So look at the first example. I have a requirement like this. My requirement is less than to the requirement. Create a proper class. Create a proper class with the following data members. With the following data members. What are the data members we have? List of the account ACCS. List of contact. Create a proper class with the following data members. So, proper class have the data members called list of account, list of contact. So, what is the proper class that we are taking? Let us say, we are going with the account wrapper. Public class account wrapper. In the account wrapper class, what are the data members we have? Public list of account ACCS. Public list of contact this is the proper class now create a list of account proper class and insert the elements for the proper class what is my requirement once you create a proper class I am asking you to create create list of account proper class and insert two elements insert two elements into it now how do you create list of account wrapper class list of account accounts equal to list of account wrapper list of account wrapper. Now, what you need to do? Create account wrapper object and insert the value. How do you create account wrapper object? Account wrapper aw1 equal to new account. Now, in the aw1, what are the elements we have? In the account wrapper, what are the elements we have? ACCS COA. What is that ACCS? List of Accounts. So what I am doing was aw1 dot ACC is equal to new list of aw1 dot cons equal to new list of am I right? So in the proper class what we have? Proper class have list of records. Proper class have list of contact list of account, list of contact. Now what I am doing now? I am creating account a1 equal to account a1 dot name equal to account a1 dot phone equal to How do you add the elements? aw1 dot agcs dot add Am I right? In account wrapper we have List of accounts. In that list we are adding A1. In the account wrapper we have list of accounts. In that list we are adding account. AW1 dot ACC dot People have followed this. People have followed this. Now, what is the other way of creating this? I can also create this in this format. How do you create? Account wrapper AW2 equal to New account wrapper, account wrapper, AW2 equal to new account wrapper. Now, how we are going to take it, boss? List of account, ACC is equal to new list of. So, what does it mean? Memory is allocated. Memory is allocated. That memory is referred by ACC. So, let us assume the memory allocated is address is 400. We are assuming that whatever address that is allocated is 400. Now, ACC is referred to what? 400. What is that 400? It is the address. It is the address of the memory location. It is the address of 
no no location right now i am creating account a1 equal to a1 dot name then acc is dot add i have created now what happened whatever the memory that acc is referring whatever the memory that acc is referring always i'll say acc list whatever the memory that acc is list is referring the same memory i want to assign to what acc is so what i'm doing was aw2 dot acc is equal to acc is the people get the point is the people get the point here is the people got the point here clear about this people have followed or not yes or no now i created account ac1 equal to ac1 dot name i created account now i am referring account ac1 equal to new account so what happened when now you say new new memory is selected let us say you This memory is somewhere around four hundred. In the memory, what is the data we have? Name equal to this memory is referred by what? This location is referred by what? AC one is what? Reference variable. AC one is a reference variable which will refer to the memory allocated by the new keyboard. Now, I am saying. Account AC two equal to what does it mean? Whatever the memory that AC one is referring, AC two is also referring to the same. Whatever the memory AC one is referring, same memory is referred by AC two. No what happened? AC two is also referring. Now when I say AC one dot name equal to is it would or more equal to so what will happen in this memory the data is replaced with sadish and because both of them are referring to the same location you make a change in ac1 or ac2 the same data will be changed because both of them are referring to what same location both of them are referring to what same location are you clear about this Same thing I am doing now. The same thing I am doing. So what did I do? Public. I got dropper. I got dropper. What I am doing? Public. Account ACC. This will be okay. Public account ACC. Public Boolean flag. Now what I'm doing now? I created account wrapper AW. Equal to new account wrapper. When you create a account wrapper, what happened was memory is selected. Memory is selected for what? What is the ACC? ACC is what? Is it a primitive or reference? Reference. It is going to refer to any one of the memory. What is the brain? Flag is what? Flag is primitive. It is going to store two or false. Now this memory is referred by what? This memory is referred by what? 
This number is supported by now I'm saying aw dot acc equal to I'm using new when you say new account what does it mean? Whenever it's a new account, memory is selected. In this memory, we are assuming we have some name, phone like this. Memory is selected. This memory is referred by what? Let us say it is connected. Right. This address, this memory is referred by what? AW dot ACC. In AW, ACC is referred to what? Address of what are the memory allocated? This address is referred by ACC. Now when you say aw dot ACC, referring to what? aw dot ACC, which is nothing but address of 400. Now if you want to refer, how do you refer? aw dot ACC dot aw dot ACC dot You go follow this. Okay. Instead of doing this, what is the other format I have done? Instead of doing this, what is the other format I have done? I have created like this. Account A equal to I create account A equal to new account. A dot name A dot phone So when now we say new, new means what? Number is What are the data numbers we have? equal to this is referred by what so a is referred to what this address let us assume this address is some 400 now a is referred to what that memory that memory address is let us say 400 now a is referred to that memory location now what did I do a c c equal to a w dot a c c equal to a. What is A? 400. AW dot ACC equal to what? 400. So AW dot ACC is also referred to what? Same thing. Are you getting a point? We can do it either that way or this way. Reference variables will refer to the memory. Reference variable will refer to the memory. Reference variable will refer to the memory. I hope you are clear with this. Clear with this format. People have followed. Any coding? Any coding? Clear? Now, let us go to the next example. Let us take a next example again. Now, look at the example. Look at the example. People have to form this example. Look at the format. Create a proper class. Create a proper class, customer with data members, last name, first name, create a data members, create a proper class, customer details with the data members, last name, first name and four. Next, create a proper class create a proper class contact data proper with contact number with data members with the data members customer details customer contact so how many data members are there in this class? The proper class will contain customer details. One of the variable, one of the variable called customer, whose data type is what? Customer details. Another variable is what? Contact. C1, data type is what? Contact. So create a proper class 1, create a proper class 2. First complete this. First complete this. What is the first class you have created? Public class customer details 
public class customer details. What is the data we have? Public string. Public string. If you want to display this data in the VF page, we will write set and get. Public string. Right. What is the second class we have created? Create a proper class, contact proper. Public class contact proper. Public class contact proper. So I am giving public customer details, customer. Now, what was my requirement? Take the details from the customer and create a new contact account. Take the details from a customer and create a contact. So the details which are provided in the customer, take the data and create a contact account. I have to form a contact account based on the data which is there in the customer. I have to create a contact account based on the data which is there in the customer. So how will you achieve this? I will achieve this first <coughs> customer details equal to new customer details. Now customer dot last name first name. Then we have customer dot phone. This is how I create a customer. Now what is my requirement? Based on the data which is available in the customer, with this data, create a contact. So, first what should I do? Contact proper. Contact equal to. Contact dot. Contact dot. Customer equal to. Contact of customer equal to whatever the customer I have created here, the same I am assigning to contact dot customer. Then I have to assign the memory. Contact C equal to new contact where C dot last name equal to C dot last name equal to contact dot customer dot C dot first name equal to contact dot the contact we have a customer in the customer we have this is how we created a contact once you created a contact what should I do this C I have to assign to what this C I have to assign to what C1 am I right if I don't want to do this what is the other format Contact dot C O N equal to how to create like this? Then how to create contact dot C O N dot first name equal to contact dot customer dot. So what is happening? It is becoming a lengthy. So to avoid this lengthy operation, what did I do? To avoid this, what did I do? I am using this format. To avoid that lengthy format, I am using this format. Are the people following my format? Any query, any query, we can still take a new example. If anyone has any query, we can still take a new examples. People have followed this? Yes. Okay. Because the namings are similar namings I have given. Probably that may be confusing you. Brava. Now I am given. It is a Brava. Now look at this. The Brawler class, we have a variable called customer. Brawler dot customer equal to this record. Okay. Next, what is the next record we have? Brawler dot C O N equal to new. Right. Then I have to give us what? Brawler dot 
contact dot last name equal to proper dot customer dot proper dot customer dot proper dot contact dot last name equal to proper dot customer dot this all is to avoid this lengthy format what i can do create the contact separately assign the contact to coe right so that will reduce the length of if we make a shortcut it will be easy for you to refer it is easy for you to refer i hope you are clear people have followed this clear for everyone people have followed any further queries now let us take the next example let us take the next example let us take i want to take create a create a list of list of contacts create a list of list of contacts and insert two reports i have a requirement create a list of list of contacts and set new reports now complete this task first with the data members product name quantity quantity and price Create a proper class, product data with the data members, product name, quantity, price. Create a list of product data. Create a list of product data. Create a list of product data. Add, add three products. समय ऑफ टोटल प्राइस टोटल फॉर देन टोटल इज Calculate the summary of products. Calculate the summary of the products. Calculate the summary of the products where total is quantity into price. So find out the total for every product and summarize the value. Find out the total for every product and summarize the value. Create a proper class, product data with the data members, product name, quantity and price. Create a proper class, product data with the data members, product name, quantity and price. Create a list of product data and add three products. Calculate the summary of total, where total is quantity into price for each product.
करेंगे बराबर क्लास प्लॉट करेगा पब्लिक स्मॉल वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ बराबर क्लास देन व्हाट आई हैव टू डू क्रिएट अ लिस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट डेटा आई हैव टू क्रिएट अ लिस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट डेटा How do you feel? List of list of then create a product data. I created a product list of product data. I created a product one. Added the product one to. This is how we have added the product. Then add one more product. Like this, we add it. Then what I ask you to do? Find out the summary. How do you find out the summary? Decimal sum equal to. Take one by one product. Product data. I is less than or equal to three. 
because here what type of data we are taking same type of data what type of data we are taking same records on display and i am so taking public boolean Now one account record, one contact record. So what I am doing? Account wrapper. Data will equal to new account. Account wrapper dot ACC equal to A1. Account wrapper dot C1 equal to. How many times the loop will run? Three days. That means how many records are created? Three account wrappers are created. And I added it. Proper dot add. So how many records are added to the list? Three records are added because the loop is going to run how many times? Three times. So in the constructor I am calling add. When now we call a constructor, constructor is automatically going to call what? Add. When we call a constructor, when is the constructor called? When now the page is loaded, constructor will be called. In the constructor what I am calling? Add. In the constructor what I am calling? Add. When we call add what happens? Three elements are added to the wrapper. Or you remember point? When you load the page, constructor is called. When you call the constructor, add method is called. What the add method is doing? Adding three records to the list. Are you all clear? Right. Now go back to the VF page. Now I want to go with section header title account. Now I want to display page block effects page block mode equal to main detail. When you say mode equal to main detail, what will happen? Background color will not affect page block equal value. What is this value? Value equal to what is the proper list of proper class. Value equal to when you say value equal to a, what is it? Proper, account proper record. It is a list of account proper a is referring to one of the account wrapper. Then how do you refer? Apex colon. I want a checkbox. How do you get a checkbox? Reset. Name equal to. Why am I using reset? Why am I using reset? If you want to print anything other than text. If you want to print anything other than text as a header element, use what? Reset. Next one, fx colon value equal to how do you refer a dot a colon wrapper dot a c c dot a is what a colon wrapper in the a colon wrapper we have a c c which is an a colon record a colon wrapper a colon record name a colon wrapper a colon record name colon value equal to a dot, a c c dot, fx colon, value, a dot, c y dot, fx colon, value, account wrapper dot, contact dot,
what are taken? A is a echoed graph one. Echoed graph one dot, echoed record dot, nail field. Go for a preview. This is how we wrote the name. The row can clear with this format. Clear with this format. So when you want to take the data out of multiple elements, then I cannot take a list of the element. I have to take them as what? Wrapper. So what is the purpose of a wrapper? When you want to define your own data type, we have account defined by Salesforce, contact defined by Salesforce. But I want a combination of account and contact, Salesforce has not defined. We have to define our own data type for wrapper class. Salesforce has created integer, string, or boolean. But I want a combination of three. I want it, every record should have one account, one integer value, one boolean value, one string value. Then I have to create my own data type. So, wrapper classes are used for what? Creating user defined data types. Whenever you want to define your own data types, we will go for wrapper. When you want to make a group of elements, we go for a list. List of wrapper. List of wrapper. Group of wrapper elements. Why should you go for a list? When you are not sure how many records we are going to get. Example, I am writing a sample query. I am writing a query. Get me all the records from student database. How many students are there? I am not sure. I told get me all the students. Who city is Hyderabad? Do you know how many students are from Hyderabad? We are not sure. If you know that there is only 10 records, I will take any. But in the database, I don't know how many records are there with the city equal to Hyderabad. So if you are not sure about the number of elements, then we go for what? List. Then we go for what? List. Will the list accept duplicate values? Will the list accept duplicate values? Yes. List to maintain insertion order. What is that insertion order? Order in which you are inserted, the same order they are stored. Then, can we sort the elements in the list? Yes. So if you want to sort the elements in the ascending order, already we have a predefined method called sort. This method will sort the elements in the ascending order. If you want to sort the elements in the descending order, if you want to sort the elements in the descending order, there is no method. You have to write your own logic. That is the reason we have written one example, sorting the records in the descending order. We have taken one example, sorting the records in the descending order. Why? List doesn't have any method to sort the elements in the descending order. List has a method to sort the elements in the ascending order. If you have to sort the elements in the descending order, list doesn't have any method. That is the reason we have to write our own logic. To test our own logic, in the last class we have taken one example, sorting the elements in the list in the descending order. Right. In the list we have a method called sort, which will sort the elements in the ascending order. If you want to sort the elements in the descending order, there is no predefined method. You have to write your own logic. Refer to my yesterday's class example and know how to sort the elements in the list in the descending order. I hope I am clear. That's all from my end. So tomorrow we will start the set. We will take the examples of set tomorrow. I hope you are clear with this creation of list. Right, boss? So tomorrow we will go with the set.